Welcome back to the channel, my name's Sean Lee and in this video we're going to be turning an olive wood bowl. I'm very excited because I've never turned olive wood before. Before we get going I just want to thank Neil. I met Neil at Make Essential 2018 and he very kindly gave me this lovely chunk of olive wood. Now Neil actually is a woodworker and he's also a distributor of olive wood blanks. So if you're interested in buying any olive wood or checking them out, I've got his card here. Say to him I sent you, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Anyway, thank you very much Neil for the olive wood, I can't wait to turn it, and let's get straight into the video. So I'm going to be turning this olive wood on my new Record Power Coronet Herald lathe. It's a fantastic lathe, it's got a lot of power and a lot of torque, so it's going to carve through this bowl really easily and it's going to be really enjoyable to turn this bowl. Now with this lathe the head can actually swivel. If you use this bar you can unlock the bar at the back, twist it to any angle you want and you can also slide it up and down. So I've already cut the bowl blank down into a circle on the band saw. After looking at the circle, I realised it was quite tall, so I decided to cut it in half. So now I have two olive wood bowl blanks, which I quite like because I can have a set and they can both be matching, so it's going to look really nice. i just got to make sure I turn them the same. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole for the worm screw to go in, turn a tenon on the end, and then I can flip it around into the jaws and then hollow out the inside of the bowl. So I'm going to bring you up to speed. What I've done is I took the bowl blank from the chuck, I took the worm screw out. So what I'm going to do now is flip the bowl blank around and mount it into the jaws. If you wanted to know, I'm using the Record Power SC3 uh, chuck and obviously you can change the chuck jaws on this. Later on in this project I'm going to be changing the jaws from this to the remounting jaws so then I can turn away the tenon on the bottom of the bowl. But for now I'm going to hollow out the inside, sand it, put some Yorkshire grit on and then some carnauba wax. I already added some carnauba wax to the outside and it's very smooth, loving the finish and I can't wait to turn the inside of the bowl. So I'm going to do that now and I'll talk to you after.
All right, there we have it. Two olive wood bowls. Very happy with how this has come out. The second bowl I turned, which is the one you saw, might be the nicest bowl I've ever turned. The, the walls are very thin. It's got no tool marks on it. It's very smooth. I love the carnival wax finish. And I'm very happy with how it's come out. It's slightly smaller than the one I made before. That's because I had a chip. Then I had to turn the wood down to uh, take away the chip. But I'm okay with that. They don't need to be the same size. It's pretty obvious that they're a set anyway, so that's not a problem. I have to say, I love olive wood. I love the interlocking grain pattern it has on the end grain, which I've never seen before, and it's really fascinating. So thank you, Neil, again for the blank. I had a lot of fun turning it, and hopefully I'll see you again at Maker Central 2019. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you even learned something, which is great. If you're already subscribed to the channel, you'll know I don't just do wood turning videos. And if you aren't a subscriber to the channel, I don't just do wood turning videos. Yeah, that worked. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see my other projects, feel free to subscribe. I would love to show you more videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, also give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. If you've got any questions or you just want to chat, comment down below. I will reply to your comments. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.